Shermin Voshimgir likes to think differently, to challenge and to drive innovation. She's a company founder with a PhD in IT management. She was born in Iran, grew up in Vienna and now lives in Berlin. It's a creative city and a great place to work on her unusual ideas. In a co-working space, she develops new digital technologies together with startups. Starting something new isn't hard for me anymore. I actually seem to look for ruptures, for discontinuities. Maybe that's because I'm a child of the diaspora. My parents had to leave their country when I was four. Maybe that sowed a seed emotionally. I'm driven by curiosity. I have to understand things. And the only way to understand them is by doing them. That's why I do something completely new every two to three years. Shermin Voshimgir's current focus is blockchain, a complex technology that she thinks could change the world. Blockchain is a new kind of digital operating system that applications can run on. It already underlies the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. It could make banks and insurance companies redundant in the future. Blockchain is a decentralized computer network containing encrypted data entered by users online. All computers in the network receive an identical copy, which creates a chain of data records that allow transactions to be processed. Say I wanted to send you money today. We've only just met. I don't really know you, so I also can't trust you. I would only do it through a central authority like a bank or provider like PayPal or a credit card company or MoneyGram or something. Now it's possible to send money directly to you, and I don't need an authority. The blockchain protocol, the code, and the decentralized network have a mechanism that means I can trust you even though I don't know you. I know that the money will go to you, and you can trust that I actually have the bitcoins I'm sending you. It means we don't need the central authority anymore. Instead, transactions are checked for validity with a kind of majority vote system. And if they're genuine, they'll be carried out automatically. Shemin Voshimgir is often in Vienna, where she grew up. She teaches here and advises companies. She's used to people not understanding her when she talks about the transformations underway in our new digital world. When we wrote our first email or surfed the web for the first time, we never imagined what other opportunities the internet would bring, such as social networks. In my experience, most people have trouble imagining a world that's different from the status quo. People think that what I'm saying is like voodoo. They just can't grasp what I'm talking about. Even big companies still have a lot of catching up to do in terms of digitalization. Unica is the biggest insurance company in Austria, and they've asked Dr. Voschemgeer for advice. For corporations, the central question is, will the new technology be a threat to their business model or a way to make money? They turn to startups and blockchain experts for help. Two years ago, I was going into companies and giving lectures to explain the basics. Now we've progressed to the point where companies are getting to grips with the topic. They have a rough overview. But as always, the devil's in the details. The Vienna University of Economics and Business has just set up a new research institute for crypto economics, and Shermin Voschemgir is the director. Digital currencies, blockchain-run governments, contracts without lawyers, there are limitless possibilities. 
But Voschemgeer also wants the institute to research the dark sides of blockchain. It's a very powerful technology, and it will spawn further technologies. We can use it as a machine to promote universal freedom, to create a better, decentralized society with less bureaucracy, which will be better suited to a globalized world. If we don't do it right, the very same technology can become a machine for universal control. To prevent that, we have to take all aspects into account. Right now, we can only begin to imagine where these technologies will take us. The more complex a technology, the harder it is to predict what it will lead to.